sometime. Somehow, we will be punished. Punished? Okay, okay, so this is going to be quite a lot. You know how I made videos in the past saying how Call of Duty has been important to my spirituality? Well, I understand why now. So consciousness and ego, those are two very real things. They're separate entities, but they are symbiotic entities within this reality. This reality has been in a war between ego and consciousness because ego and consciousness were the original gods of this reality. Ego is everything material. Ego is everything material and the desires that come with it. Oh my god. And then consciousness. Consciousness is our connection to the higher thoughts, higher realms, so to speak. The creators of zombies were indeed doing disclosure, but I didn't realize what the fuck disclosure was. Disclosure is these conscious entities coming into our reality, attempting to push people in the right direction, which is what happened to me. I was pushed in the right direction, and I found out the truth for myself. The reason why they're not forthcoming with the information is because they believe that they came into this reality like with a like under a contract that's the reason why they believe that they forgot and then once they remember they honestly still believe that they have that contract and if they break that contract they believe that they'll either go insane or they'll be sent to hell but i broke that contract quote unquote i i myself believed that there was a contract because everyone else said that there was a contract and they said once you know the truth if you tell the truth exactly how it is you're going to be in big trouble. So my ego was horrified at the aspect of telling people this information. And it started killing itself. It was dying on me. My body was f like starting to freeze. Like It's something that I experienced before. I'll just say that. So as my body was dying, my consciousness like noticed. And it was like, dude, 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 calm down. You're the ego and I'm consciousness. We need to work symbiotically in this reality. We need to work together. And that's when I realized that while we are both ego and consciousness, if we choose to identify with either or, we become that. So if you identify with the consciousness, you will have to take care of your ego. And if you identify as the ego, you'll have to take care of your consciousness. But all the time we are holding the possibility of being both at the same time, which is what I've attained now somehow. So basically, what happens is if your consciousness starts getting scared by thoughts that come into its, like, space, you know, like, say you start going down a bad road, so you start thinking, like, oh, my God, I ruined this relationship. I can't believe I got a fight. Like, I got into a fight with my wife. And then your ego will calm it down. Like, dude, chill. You may have gotten into a fight but at least you've had fights before and you've gotten back from those fights. And then you smoke a bowl, you know? <laughs> it's the ego calming down the consciousness. And then say your ego is freaking out because it's not getting like things the way it wants. Like say it's freaking out because like, it can't play video games, it can't, it can't just relax, it can't just do whatever the hell it wants. That's where your consciousness steps in and puts it in check. It's like, dude, you don't need to be this way you're better than this you don't need it and you'll get it eventually so just chill so ego and consciousness both keep each other in check but that's a story for another day i wanted to talk about this dark aether shit it's really really important that i tell people about this because it's what this reality is going to be headed to i believed that there was a light on the other side of the tunnel that eventually we may be getting our what's it called ending that we deserved with the great war but now i'm starting to think that the great war is gonna definitely come but it's not gonna be in the form of a video game man it's gonna be light and dark within either this reality or the dimension above and that's what this whole experience is preparing us for Basically, whatever you subscribe to, positivity or negativity, is what is going to bring you into the next reality. If you focus on positivity and don't fall to the darkness, you will go to the um, light aether. You will go to heaven, quote unquote. But if you subscribe to negativity and keep pushing darkness, you're going to go to the dark aether or hell within this dimension. So I believe that this next game, Black Ops Cold War, 
is going to give us some hints or at least show us what is in store for us if we indeed continue to choose darkness. And that is why it's so important. Like once you learn the truth about consciousness, that's why it's so important to bring others to the light. Because if they remain in darkness, you're abandoning them. You're abandoning both their consciousness and the ego that they inhabit, the body that they inhabit. And these egos are just as important as our consciousness. If we don't take care of these monkeys, then we die losing access to this reality because we are the consciousness and we are being tuned into like a radio frequency using the brain as a radio. So yeah, that was the ramblings of a madman and I have much, much more to come, but I just had to make this before I posted any of my other videos because this, it's, um, <laughs> this change is happening way too fast and i have been documenting them i just haven't been posting anything so after i post this i'm probably going to be posting all those other things and you will see how much of a difference it is because like the first video i have backlogged is about music and the frequencies and then after that i talk about like call of duty and then after that i talk about my experience on november 3rd and then after that i talk about this no nah, man i mean like yes that would be the natural progression of how things should go but fuck that, dude. This message is the most important, and I'll get this out first before I put any of those out. Uh, well, thank you for watching this video. I hope you guys have a good one, and just remember to stay safe out there.